Today on our 2012 Acura RDX, we'll be installing Kurt Hitch part number C13154. Before we start our installation, here are a few measurements that will assist you when selecting accessories, such as a drawbar, a bike rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper is 5 inches, and from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 12 inches. Now let's go ahead with our install. Now to begin our installation, we'll go ahead and point out the connection points on the frame of the vehicle. On the passenger side, the rearmost point is a weld nut here, and we'll be using this hole here for our frontmost attachment. It is exactly the same on the driver's side. Now we'll go ahead and raise the hitch into position and use the M12 by 125 by 40 millimeter bolt with the conical tooth washer, making sure that the teeth of the washer are facing the hitch. With the hitch in position, we can go ahead and run our bolt in to the weld nut. With that bolt started, we can go ahead and move to the other side and repeat the same procedure using the exact same hardware. Now that we have a fastener in on either side, we can go ahead and snug them down so that our hitch pulls tight to the frame. We're now ready to install our Ford most fasteners. We'll use the handle nut. We'll need to make a slight bend in the handle nut here so that it lays flat on the inside of the frame. We can then move the handle nut through the access hole, we'll then take the half inch bolt and the conical tooth washer, again remembering to make sure that the teeth of the washer are facing the hitch and tighten it down. And again, we'll repeat the same procedure on the other side. With all our fasteners in, we can now go ahead and tighten them down and torque them to specification as indicated in the instructions. And that'll complete our installation of Kurt Hitch, part number C13154 on our 2012 Acura RDX.